It's 11-11, make a wish. Our wish to finally be home. We're here. We made it. After missing a flight, our flight now getting delayed today, $400 later, we're here. Good morning. It is Monday and it feels like a Monday. Not gonna lie, I feel just... I don't know, I don't wanna say gross, but like, you know that feeling when you have definitely indulged on vacation and then you're back and I'm just ready to get back to my routine, get back to eating healthy. And so this is what this whole video is gonna be about. Starting day one, right after a week of vacation, a week of splurging, what I'm eating, what I'm doing to get back on track and get back on my health goals. So if you watched all my New York videos, you saw we were in New York for a week, then we had our plane catastrophe, we missed a flight, then we booked another flight for the next day, $400 later, we finally made it back, but we got delayed on Sunday and we didn't make it back till late and then we didn't have time to go grocery shopping and now it's Monday morning and here I am. What I do, I woke up, I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, got in the car and now I'm here at the gym. Do I wanna be here? Absolutely not, but am I here? Yes. I feel like this is gonna be a tough workout. My body is just like not sore at all and I just feel like I've been out of the gym for a hot minute at least, about a week. I personally like need the routine. I need be I need to be here. And it was so hard to even like contemplate even like think about going to the gym while on vacation. And yeah. So we're here. <laughs> it's a push pull day today. It's like more of a strength day. And then I Jack and I had already talked and we're like, we are going running tonight or we're gonna go for a long walk. We're gonna do something because it is just, it's just been a long week to say the least. But I say this to say like, we definitely enjoyed ourselves. We enjoyed our engagement and I wouldn't want it any other way. Like I, it is so important to have that balance to be able to enjoy food and, you know, enjoy with people you love and splurge a little. So I don't feel bad on that end, but now it's like, <clears throat> I gotta get back into, into my routine, into my scheduling. And so we're here. My workout is done. I know it doesn't even look like I'm sweating. I barely sweat. It's such a weird issue, but swear I did it. 45 minutes, I'm feeling good. I'm like, kind of like, just from all the weights, I feel like a little jittery. Didn't even take pre-workout, but I wanted to come on here because I have a question. What girls work out with their engagement ring on? I am like so nervous, but I saw so many girls at burn boot camp today with their engagement rings on, and I was like, oh, I could wear mine, but I don't know. I got nervous. I was like, what if it scratches? Like, the, I don't know. What if it bent? Like a weight bends the the metal part of it, or I mean the gold part. My ring is gold, but I don't know. I'm just nervous. Maybe I should get one of those like rubber band, like the rubber engagement ones. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? If you have any links to those, let me know because Jack and I are looking for those anyways, but I don't know. I'm just scared to, to work out with it. Am I, am I the only one? Do, does everyone work out with their engagement ring and I'm the crazy one? Let me know. Here is our food haul for the week. So I always start with what kind of protein we're going to have. So I did three different proteins this week. We're going to do again those taco bowls just because they're so easy, so cheap, and so quick. So we got Laura's lean beef. We have some chicken breasts that Jack will grill and then turkey breast. So I'll use these more so for the um, bowls. This, if we do that, we might just do that on the side and add some greens and some carbs. Then of course, bananas. And then uh, we make really huge salads for lunch, which I will show you how I prepare those as well. But these are all the bases of it. We got, these were like reduced, which is why I got them. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Romaine lettuce, some kale, just to add more crunch. And then um, I just truthfully spent more money didn't want to chop up the onions. They always make my eyes cry, but they are a game changer in the salads. And then um, I always add some cherries, cherry tomatoes, um, some crunch with the croutons. And then uh, we do like half a cucumber each. And then I throw in some lemon on it. And then for going back to the taco bowl, sorry, this is like out of order. I got some Faye. This is also the brand I was talking about in my last video that I use for the uh, bagels. So you can get this, but I got this to pair with a little bit of ranch. So we'll, we'll put some of this seasoning in it and then stir it up and throw like a dollop of that on top of our bowl just to get some, 
you know, just some extra flavor in there. And then um, I didn't go to Aldi this time, but this is the vegetables that we will use. All of this that you're seeing here cost me 66 bucks in Murfreesboro at Kroger. Um, again, this is just really clean, the basics. We already had some stuff like rice. We even had some more eggs, but I picked up another batch because Jack and I go through those so quickly. Um, and I will show you what I assembled with all this. But again, we have a short week, so I didn't buy too much. I feel like this looks like a lot, but I swear it goes so quick. All right, my friends, I am home from the gym, went grocery shopping, which I just showed you. And now it's time to make breakfast. It's a little late, 10, 29. I usually would eat breakfast much earlier, but had to get all the haul done and do all that stuff. So I figured I'd show you. I've had a lot of questions on what oatmeal I eat and just to do more like meal prep stuff. So here's a quick and easy breakfast that I'm gonna do because I have an appointment at like 11.50 in Nashville. So I'm kind of in a rush, so here we go. So everything you see here is what I'm gonna use for breakfast. I am gonna start with the protein. So I, get, I got these chicken and maple breakfast sausages from Applegate. They're a little on the pricier side, but I do like them. There's no antibiotics. Um, and the macros are pretty good. It's nine grams of protein for three links. The sugars is, uh, has three added sugars, but I'm not going to lie. These taste really, really good. I put three, I do the serving size. I add it into my air fryer and then I will put that on once I'm ready to start. Then I'm going to do two boiled eggs. I know these are two different colors. I was just trying to use up the last white egg we had. And then I'm going to make some oatmeal, which I already kind of have prepped here. So I just take a mug and I fill it up a quarter of a cup away. I like my oatmeal not watery, so that's why I do that. I'm gonna warm this up for about three minutes, and then I'm gonna add in this packet of oatmeal. This is, per this is portioned, I think, to 40 grams, which I really do love. This is from Aldi. It's It comes in a box, and they have like little packets like these in the box, but it's instant oatmeal, oats and flax. I really, really like them. Again, these do have a little bit of added sugar, but it just tastes so good, and the macros really are not that terrible. So once that boils, I will pour that in there, and then I'll do like a half a teaspoon of this nut butter. This is the RX Vanilla Almond Butter. I swear by this one. This is the best kind, I promise you. If you haven't tried it, get it. Super clean ingredients. Uh, I, I really, really recommend getting this, and so it just kicks up the oatmeal, and then just for fun, I add in like a small handful of sugar-free chocolate chips and it melts in there. So it just tastes like an oatmeal cookie, which I love. Then you're probably wondering why I have this lemon. I am going to start doing warm lemon water. So I'll do eight ounces and then squeeze about half of it in there to start my morning, which I should have done before I went to the gym, but I ran out of the apartment. So here we are now. So I will have my lemon water before I eat. And now I'm just boiling um, the water for the eggs. And then I will show you what it all looks like when I'm done. So uh, lemon water first. All I did was squeeze a half a lemon in. I was letting it get colder because I kind of made it too hot. And you yeah, start your morning every day with eight ounces of this. I do not want to claim to be like a nutritionist or anything like that. I am simply just passing along some of the small information I got from when I worked with my health coach. And I will explain more about her and her team a little later because I am running out of time because I got to make this appointment. But yeah, so once you down that, then I will eat my breakfast. So all I did was three chicken sausage links, two eggs, some Himalayan salt and pepper, and the oatmeal. And that is what I will be eating for breakfast. This is a little too watery for my liking, but we'll make do. All right, friends, it's 118, and I'm gonna show you how to make your salads not suck. And I know if you're watching this and you're not a big salad person, you're probably thinking like, Jenna, how are you gonna show me to make a salad that doesn't suck? Well, it's all about making it big, crunchy, and adding a lot of stuff into it. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I already showed you some of the stuff that I bought earlier today, but I'm gonna make the base filled with romaine and kale. And you can do whatever you like, but I am just gonna show you how I'm gonna prep three of them today. So I just have normal big salad bowls. I think we got these at like Walmart and they have like the red tops. I'm eating one now and then I'm gonna prep two for tomorrow. Again, because I'm home, I like to make these fresh for Jack and I, so like the night before, so that way he just takes it and goes to work, and then I have mine for the next day, and then I'll usually prep them again like the next night. So we, we, I, I can prep longer, but I think it tastes better and fresher if you prep like two at a time. So I'm gonna start by adding just a handful of kale to the bottom of each bowl, and then I am going to add in some hearts of romaine. Don't forget to wash this. 
So here's gonna be the base of the bowls, just the lettuce, and then I'll mix it all together after, so it's not all like kale on the bottom and then romaine on top. So you do a little like mixy of all of that. Then I have my four toppings that I like to throw on. So it's a cucumber, red onion, carrot sticks, and some cherry tomatoes. So I will prep all of that in here now. And my favorite topping of them all, red onion. You really could not be lazy like I am and cut it yourself and it'd be cheaper, but even right now, I just opened this and my eye feels like it's gonna water. Oh my gosh, oh. But it's so worth it, because they taste so good. So I just put like a small handful of those in there. But having the onion already cut makes my meal prep go so much faster. I feel like it takes me forever to cut an onion. And when Jack is here, like when I'm not prepping them, I will actually make him do it because I, just genuinely hate cutting onions. Then what I like to do is throw in a quarter cup of garbanzo beans in there, chickpeas, whatever you call them. And I always do a quarter of a cup. I like adding the chickpeas in it because it gives you just a little protein kick. Um, and typically I normally would add some like grilled chicken in these salads, but again, because we just came back from vacation, I just didn't have enough time and like I just got all the protein but like it's not even done so I'm just gonna eat this salad plain but I do recommend putting like four ounces of grilled chicken on top or whatever you like and it really tastes so good. Jack also likes banana peppers on his. I don't like banana peppers on mine so I don't put them on but I will put it on his. And then what I'll do is I'll close the two that I'm gonna prep for tomorrow because I like to have us, like Jack and I will both put the dressing on fresh. I really recommend doing that. Otherwise it gets really soggy, which I'm probably, which I'm sure you probably know already. But that is how we do our salads. And that's the base of it. And then just do a little shake, you know? So those are two. And then what I'm gonna show you now, cause I'm gonna eat this one right now. I am gonna make my dressing and then I'll top it off with just some regular croutons. I don't use too much, but again, it just adds that crunch and it makes me think I'm eating a lot more um, food than I really actually am. Again, this it's a pretty big serving, but I like to be full of veggies. It's a really nice veggie bump during the day. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll just squeeze half a lemon that the other half I used this morning for my lemon water. And then I will use just some balsamic vinegar uh, I think this is just a Kroger brand right here. I typically try to stay away from like olive oil and I just drizzle this on pretty lightly because it just, it does go pretty far because this does have nine carbs in it and then olive oil has fat in it. So I try to avoid, if you're gonna use olive oil, maybe stay away from the balsamic. I don't know, I just try to cut it. I really should have measured that, but I'm kind of being lazy and I'm just really hungry, so I'm gonna eat. But typically I would take like a teaspoon, so the serving size is a tablespoon, so I would take a tablespoon and measure that out. This is the finished salad. It is huge. I get so full off of this. I love the toppings on it. The balsamic hits perfect. That's my new kick, but you can play around with dressings. I also have another dressing recipe that I could share that Jack actually made. His father taught it to us. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. Again, I would add in another four ounces of protein like grilled chicken. That's typically what I do with these salads. But today, again, I am just recovering from this whole vacation, but it's super simple. I checked the timestamp. It took me 13 minutes to record all that. And I was like cleaning in between. So that was three salads in 13 minutes. And again, if you take away the cleaning time, it's probably 10 minutes. So really, really simple, really affordable. None of this costs that much money. And yeah, really good. So I hope you like it. I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. It is 10 minutes till five and now is like my little midday snack. Having a protein smoothie from Smoothie King. What'd we get? What'd we get? Uh, what'd we get? Chocolate Gladiator <laughs> with- uh, Almond butter. Almond butter. And banana. So normally we would make this at home, but because we were traveling, we forgot to buy almond milk, so. We're actually going to do that now, but we just like wanted it in the moment. So we went and got it. This has about 53 grams of protein. This is with the almond butter and the banana, 30 carbs and 17 grams of fat. This is for the 20 ounce. Chocolate Gladiator is the way to go at Smoothie King. You can look up their nutrition facts online. I typically don't go there a lot because it is kind of expensive, but for this moment, we were both just like, oh, let's go get one and now we're gonna go get some almond milk for tomorrow's smoothie that we will have. Right. But I like to have a chocolate or any kind of new chocolate or we have strawberry banana for our protein smoothies. We use the brand Legion. How do you like Legion? Do you like Legion? Mm -hmm. 
We got like five bags in the pantry. We do, because I bought like three, he bought two. This is when we were living, this is when we were living apart. And so, then I moved and I had them all here. I'm, I've heard really good things about Legion. My health coach used it and there's days I like it and there's days I don't. I also think I'm pretty picky, so. Oh, where are your breaths again? <laughs> Murfreesboro. Every, Murfreesboro traffic, here we go every, again. Oh every, my goodness. Every inlet and outlet is a speed bump. Okay, back to my protein talk. Yes, if you are looking for a protein brand, I would highly recommend Legion. I've heard good things about it. Jack really likes the flavor. It doesn't hurt his stomach. We use the whey one and Jack usually gets- well, Legion is whey. I know, but they also have a plant-based protein, baby. Mm. They have both. Oh. And that's why a lot of people like Legion because the plant-based protein tastes good, but I'm not whey intolerant. And Jack used to like get a really bad upset stomach with whey, but then he tried the Legion one and it was fine. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm just sick of it, but there's just days I just can't finish it. And I'm like, I don't like this, but every other person on this planet loves Legion. So would recommend it is clean ingredients in there. So that is that. And not pictured earlier today, I also had a banana. So everything you've seen in my vlog is what I've eaten today. Let me not forget the most important part of our day, water. I've drank already one of these. This is 40 ounces and I'm almost done with this 40 ounce. I try to drink three a day. So 40, 80, 120, 120 ounces of water is what we shoot for. Do I always hit it? No, but you can get this. I use a big, it's like the Fahrenheit brand and it's so cute in the bottle. Jack thinks it's cute too. Mm -hmm. um, it's linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want it, go on there and get it. It's like 30 bucks, amazing. You can carry it everywhere. And it's just a nice way to not have to fill your water bottle up 15 million times during the day. It is dinner time. And now Jack, the chicken professional seasoner is right. at it again. No. No. <laughs> I'm putting just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and adobo seasoning on the chicken after I've This is the in, adobo. I rubbed it in olive oil because chicken is not a naturally fatty meat. I'm putting very little salt and pepper because the adobo also has sodium and black pepper in it, but I like it to be the, the primary perfect seasoning. perfect amount. Tastes really good. And then we are pairing it with some black beans that have, I don't know why I'm stirring this with my left hand, but it has some garlic and onions and then we'll put that over some rice and add in a bag of steamed vegetables. Using a black stone griddle. I seasoned the actual griddle with vegetable oil, even though I'm not necessarily using it to cook. Uh, so I started by cleaning it with water. I got the griddle really hot. And then I steam it with water, clean it, and scrape off all the debris into the thing back there. I season it with vegetable oil, like I said, wipe it down with vegetable oil, let it smoke off. And now I'm gonna put just a little bit of olive oil as a, uh, so it doesn't stick and set the chicken on medium heat. It tastes so good. I love this thing. It makes any grilled chicken not taste dry, which is what I hate about grilled chicken, but I'm a chicken gal, thick and thin, and uh, always here for it. And I love that Jack makes this for me. This was like our impulse, well, my impulse buy, because we were really, we we're going to make taco bowls all week. And then I was like, you know what? Let me go get some chicken. And now even his roommate's eating it with us. So once he's done grilling this, we'll put everything together. Again, another quick, easy, simple meal for the beans. It was just one can of Goya black beans. And I added in the, I added in the onion and the garlic. And then I added in the sasson seasoning. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. Chef Jack, killing it. Important detail, we're gonna let these sit for a little while, but you gotta let them stay cooking until the internal temperature reaches 165. I use this meat thermometer right here. We got it from Kroger. Okay, meat thermometer, everyone should have one. Jack actually bought mine. However, but you can also tell by the firmness of the chicken, so. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And it's so much healthy protein added to our dinner. So um, what does the temperature need to be? 165 Fahrenheit. So yeah, he already checked it, but um, you'll stick that in the middle, make sure it's 165 and then you let it sit on the plate for a little. And now we are just doing the finishing touches, roasting some onions to put on top of our dish. And this is it, this is her, isn't she beautiful? 
Love the touch with the onions. The chicken is grilled so perfectly. And then we added some vegetables, which is honestly the same vegetables we used for those taco bowls. I just did a little bit of spray butter and added some salt and pepper, but how amazing does this look? Chun is already devouring. Can we get a taste test? <laughs> Come on, just it, it has to be good, right? Yeah. It's good? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you live with two men right now. Two men. All right, I'm ending this vlog with some tea before bed, and that is everything I ate and drank today for resetting my body and getting myself back on a schedule. Again, I'm not claiming to be a nutritionist or anything like that. I worked with a health coach for about a year and a half. The company is called Team BDN Coaching. I worked with Dr. Ashley Dwyer and Coach Casey, so big shout out to them. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the application. So if you mention my name, you'll get 10% off a coaching package. If this is something you guys are interested in, maybe I could see if she would be willing to donate 10 minutes of her time, hop on a Zoom call with me, and I can introduce a little bit more of her practice on here. Again, everyone's body is totally different. Um, I'm just showing you what worked for me, but let me know if you're interested in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe on this video. And if you've watched all the way to the end, thank you guys so very much for all the support. I will keep doing a little bit more of these day in the life of so eating and just some more meal prep ideas. I know I've gotten a lot of positive comments on the bagels and stuff like that. So I will keep sharing. But thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the support. Catch you guys next time. Bye.